first step is use a 5mm Allen key and remove the two bolts securing the gauge cluster to the bike. Expose the connector by moving the sleeve forward, press down on the tab to release the assembly from the bike. Next, remove the stock wiring harness bracket. Next, feed the harness for the gauge through the handlebar risers. Then take the bracket that you just removed and place it back in its original location, ensuring that the wiring harness is between the two tabs. Remove the three Phillips screws from the back of the gauge and remove the stock mount from the assembly. Next, remove the three rubber bushings from the stock mount. You can use a hex tool to aid in their removal. Next, take the three bushings that you just removed and install them on the new stainless steel bracket. Next, install the new bracket, aligning the cutout and the three holes with the posts on the back of the gauge. Install your new assembly using the stock mounting bolts, ensuring that this assembly is in front of the stock wiring harness bracket that you previously installed in this video. Install your new backing plate using the stock hardware. Ensure to go counterclockwise, then clockwise when installing the screws. You don't want to over tighten or strip the posts on the back of the gauge. They're made of plastic. Next, reconnect your gauge, gently push on the connector until you hear a click, then reseat the weather protector sleeve by gently rocking it back and forth. Reposition the wiring and use the provided zip tie to secure the wiring harness.